I've never seen Lizzie McGuire and I don't know why I feel like I'm admitting a crime, but there you go. I've never seen Lizzie McGuire, never seen the movie, never seen the TV show. I'm sorry, okay, please don't attack me. Some people may advise not to do so. They may be like, oh, Rebecca, you're gonna miss out on key moments and important characters. And to that I say, so what? It's here for entertainment and I will be entertained. Anyway, if you want to see the extended cut of this reaction, it will be available down below on my Patreon. And if you want to check me out on my socials, Instagram and Letterboxd are both at Rebecca Rose with an X over the first E, and Twitter is at Rebecca Rose with an X over the second E. Woo! Oh no, don't tell me he uses this to spy on his sister in her room. He is trying to spy on Miss Lizzie mcguire <laughs> adam lamberg that's no offense that's like the budget version of adam lambert they just couldn't afford the tea anyway who else remembers they used to really market these spy toys towards boys oh spy on your sister and then girls would always be marketed like oh the password journals keep your secret safe oh protect yourself why why was this a thing looking back kind of creepy oh my god is this song be oh my god, yes, Lizzie, we're twitchies! <laughs> ah! This is such a Disney Channel opening sequence because this literally happens in Camp Rock. I'm gonna be you know what? I don't know what's embarrassing about this. Girlie was putting on a full concert in her bedroom, and for that, I respect the hustle. I'm still surprised by the quality of this Disney movie. This is how you know Hilary Duff really was an it girl back in the day on Disney Channel, because only the it girls got quality movies. Just, Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. <gasps> A crime has been committed. How dare you be an outfit repeater? Ugh, disgusting. Gel. She said you're musty, dusty, and crusty. Now I want you to deliver your speech with as much pride and commitment as Margaret Chan would. Even I, th I almost shot myself. I thought he was about to say Margaret Thatcher. I think Margaret Chan would want me to have some water right now. Oh no. <gasps> oh, she's a klutz. Literally episode one of Austin and Ali. Honestly, I'd never show my face in public ever again. That would be the end of it for me. I'd be like, I have no hope in society. Oh, thank God she looked back. I thought maybe they were going to be heartless and just walk out. Hey, we're going to the land where they invented spaghetti. <laughs> Who was that? Was that in, like a, just an extra that we're not going to mention again? Are we supposed to ship Jordan and Lizzie? Is that a thing? If she puts her head on his shoulder, maybe. <gasps> maybe. Oh, he smiled. Oh my god, is there something here? Oh my god, is there something here? Is there something? Am I am I catching on? Or were they actually just meant to be besties, platonic, end it there? You will be rooming with Ethan Kraft. She'll be in room 103. Oh, are Jordan and Lizzie not going to be put together? You got a problem with that, Gordon? Oh my god, Gordon. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with names. People know this by now. I'm so sorry. If this is your first time seeing how bad I am with names, it's frustrating. I know. I apologize. Oh my goodness, romantic getaway with Gordon Ramsey. This is secretly Gordon Ramsey's origin story. I'd be here for that. <laughs> I like how I'm saying that as if Gordon Ramsey's a fictional character. I'm well aware he's a real man. Kitchen Nightmares, ooh, what a good show. I love the slow-mo, that was so dramatic. No. Isabella? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a no from me. Paolo, you have to get to your photo shoot. Oh, we he's famous. Go. He's different. And he's taken by Lizzie. I know 12 year old me or 10 year old me would have been all- He's stalking her! Sir, this is stalking! Don't follow her! You creep! Creepy! Chip at the arm. What does that mean? We will see each other. 
Yeah, because he's going to stalk you around every corner, this man. Uh, she, she should also eat the two apricots. Digestion? Or... Uh, no, they're in the season. Very delicious. Feel better, Senorio Maguire. Um, I hope they didn't pay for that service. Uno, two, Ha, 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 ha. Just want to say, yeah, if he's so booked and busy, what's he doing at this wishing well every day? What? Are you sure you know how to drive this thing? This is Rome. Nobody knows how to drive. Uh, <laughs> Such passion behind that delivery of the lines. We're in Rome. No one knows how to drive. I'm gonna say that's pretty accurate. Don't distract him, he's driving, ma'am. I don't want you getting in a crash. So you see, between me and Sergey, you'll always be safe. See, he's the one man that can say, I'll keep you safe and mean it. I'm so tired of men saying that. Like, what are you really gonna do, huh? Huh? Well, you should be exposed to as much Renaissance Raphaelite work typified by chiaroscuro and Hellenic mythical imagery as humanly possible. Wow, he's doing overtime for Lizzie here. He's either like the greatest friend or in love. Are they gonna have a thing? Oh my god, are we gonna ship them? They're gonna. Oh, he likes it. He's into her. I write the music. I don't know where it comes from. It just comes from me. La 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 la. See? So I... uh, if that's a snippet of your singing ability, I have low expectations. Bella, I got my crazy idea that maybe you could pretend to be Isabella for one night and present the award with me. Yes, yeah, but ask for payment. What are you getting for this? A cool experience, but also payment. You're doing this man a favor. He is money, I know it. You, Lizzie McGuire, are actually presenting an award at the IMVAs with Paolo. No, me, Isabella, with Paolo. What? It's a long story, but I'm doing it because- I love these plots. Monte Carlo. There's been other movies as well, but Monte Carlo is the only one that comes to mind. We'll be rolling you cash, my friend. Interesting. Nah. This boy is too much on Lizzie. We need a restraining order. The island that we were on was really, really sunny, so it was just the sun. Sun? We must get sun too, no? <laughs> so Isabella does not have an Italian accent. Does she not have an Italian accent? Are we just ignoring that? I mean, I haven't heard Isabella speak, but I just assumed. What? Oh, is the dog not gonna like her? Are you not gonna like a skinny girl? <laughs> Yeah, the dog knows. It's always the dog that knows. It's saying imposter. Fix the eyebrow. Fix the lips. Oh. And fix the ears. Fix the that was so rude. And for what? He was just disrespected. I don't know if I'd get back up. I think I'd just lay there. That's like something Lady Gaga would wear. Let's not lie. It's a no from me. Oh, Lord, it's a no. No, see, we don't trust him. Look at him smiling. How is he smiling at this outfit? Wow, this is the exact same colors that I wore to my spring formal, and Danny Kessler thought that <coughs> I looked. Oh, she's a dumb pooter. You dumb pooter. Fumbling the bag five seconds into the job. Oh, <laughs> she's enthusiastic today. Just a casual cartwheel. Oh, look at my man, Gordon. Now I'm starting to feel insecure. Like, what if his name is Gordo? I feel insecure. Imagine. Oh, thank you. First. Okay. Uh, if I got stuck in a oh, lift, yeah. lift with a man like this, I'd be screaming, shaking, crying. If he starts blocking the buttons, ah, I'd be ready to dial 999. Ooh. I'd be finding my way out. I'd be looking for the escape route. Okay, but you didn't wrap me up to Miss Ungermeyer. Yet. Not until I figure out what's in it for me. Now spill, dorkorella. I'm not gonna lie. When people insult others using those kind of insults, it's more embarrassing for them than it is for anyone else. Like, do you really think you did anything by saying dorkorella? I wish to thank everyone who's always believed in- It's Gordo. Oh my god. Oh my Gordo. Um, I can't believe I fumbled the bag this bad myself. Once again, my deepest apologies. I did 
start this by basically saying I'm really bad with names and uh, I'm sorry. I can't believe I let you talk me into letting her go on that trip. <laughs> I'll go get the passports. Passports? They're all going to Italy? No, this is a bad move. Like, let her have her independence. That is such a bad move. They're going to go to Italy just because the brother was like, yeah, I miss her. I guess. <laughs> well, you should then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would start throwing hands. You're not splashing me with water. Is the song hinting though that Gordo deserves more? It said I'll always, I've always been here, I always will be. Is that not Gordo? Lizzie and I were talking about adventures and that. Oh, he's ratting her out? Yes. The disrespect, the betrayal. Lizzie's upstairs, it, it's me. Oh. Someone has been sneaking out. Oh, he really, oh my God, little simp here. Oh, what a friend though. Love lifts us up where we belong. Oh my god, he said that and then Gordo Gordon goes up in the lift? Is that not a sign? Are they not too on the nose with some of these things? Because I'm catching on. This is <gasps> oh my god, is this song? Hey now, hey now, this is a dream. <laughs> it's this song. Oh, okay, she said, I've got some moves. Can't relate. I just have the hand swat. He totally covered for you and got himself kicked off the trip. Uh, I don't believe it. Why, why would he do that? He's Are a dumb Peter. Asking that question? But I wouldn't blame her for the fact that he decided to practically out himself. Well, he didn't actually have to. Like, yeah, he was being a good friend, but he didn't need to do that. It's not her fault that he did what he did. Is that an unpopular opinion? Who knows? Eh. Oh, it's Isabella, the real one. I'm going to turn myself into Miss Ungermeyer. I mean, there's no point in doing that. Yeah, like, Gordo's already in your head off on the plane. Like, what's you admitting it gonna change now? Okay, fine, quit. But then everything Gordo did will be for nothing. Exactly. She spoke facts. Okay, her doing sneak attack checks on these rooms is messed up. Creepy. Knock first, you weirdo. Where's Sanders, girl? Here. Lizzie, sweetheart. Hey, dumb. You're touching a cushion, you dumb pooter. How did you think that was your daughter's head? Is her head usually that soft? Huh? I, I got questions. Yes, the jeans on the red carpet was such an early 2000s vibe. Ah, oh, back when times were simpler. Paolo is setting you up. What are you talking about? I don't think about? so. Actually, he is setting me up. Oh. Yeah, and going solo? That's Isabella. She's the one that sings live. <gasps> See, Paolo is the one that lip syncs, not me. Oh, the tea, the drama. Paolo wants to destroy Isabella's career. <gasps> now we're going to destroy his career. But Paolo would never do that to me. You've known Paolo for like 24 hours. Calm down. Why would you not believe your bestie? Or are you going to believe? This boy you are knowing your whole life? Exactly. You are just Speak meeting. some sense into her. Oh, I like that. I didn't expect that betrayal. The plot twist. He's the villain. Oh, I like that. Now we're going to have like a coming together moment. The girlies are going to help each other. We love that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what was that? Their security are weak. Or she's just freakishly strong. But the police would be on them like ASAP. Sandra, turn down Isabella's mic. What's it? Turn down the mic. Oh, we love this. I love a bit of sabotaging. I love how the girlies are working together. Kiss the stars. <gasps> She said I'm singing live. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. Expose him. Sing to me, Paolo. <sighs> she said sing to me, Paolo. Oh. Oh. 
That was violent. Say buenas tardes to my new American friend, Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> hey now, hey now. This is my dream to made up. I can't believe Gurley's performing at the Coliseum. She set the bar high. Did Hannah Montana perform at the Coliseum? No, no, no. She performed in Crowley Corners. Lizzie McGuire's got a one over on Hannah Montana, the power. This is going on my Spotify. Oh, he did a shoulder shake. Oh my God. Not gonna lie, from the back, that hair is like identical to Hannah Montana's. Could swear this is a Hannah Montana concert. <gasps> oh, power pose! Oh, Resuscitate myself after that performance. That was a performance. Oh. Okay, what a legend these two are. Especially Isabella coming out here with the facts. Paolo was a fraud. I'm glad he's exposed. Hope his career is over. What about you not ratting out Lizzie? I mean, that was just so... Not you. She's changed. She said, I'm different now. <gasps> She's eating carbs. Character growth. I hate that whole trope, though, of women not eating carbs in these early movies. It really just was damaging, I think. It was constantly promoted that women don't eat carbs. You're still on my list. As long as I am at the top. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at that. The banter. That was smooth. I am ordering you to leave the country. Legend! Thank you, justice has been served. Gordon? Ooh, ooh. What? Ooh. Oh my, oh my, oh my. This kind of came out of nowhere, but also I saw it coming. Oh my, oh my. She was like, ooh. <laughs> oh my. The end. Ooh, this is my dream made of. That's the end of the Lizzie McGuire movie. Let's not lie, that's the most fun I've had filming one of these movie reactions in a hot minute. I think this just proves you don't have to have seen the series to really enjoy a movie based on a series. That was great even as a standalone. I really got into it. The songs slapped. That hey there, this is what dreams are made of. Oh, it's even more iconic knowing it in the context of the movie because I'd always seen like clips of it on Twitter. Not the full thing, just the hey now part. And I thought, oh, that looks really fun. But now seeing it in context of the movie, it's even better. What a bop, what a moment to be alive. That is definitely a moment for cinema. Cinema was changed after this movie. Disney Channel was never the same. Disney was never the same. Miss Hilary Duff, all my respect goes to you. Ah, I'm just so happy that was such a good movie. I'm I, my evening feels well spent. I'm gonna go listen to This Is What Dreams Are Made Of. I'm gonna go make brownies. Let me know what you think of the movie. Did you guys enjoy it? Let me know. Bye.